write each number as a product of primes. The numbers that we're going to be working with here are A, 385, B, 78, C, 273, and D, 2100. We want to write each number as a product. A product means a multiplication problem. We're going to break down these numbers using multiplication. Primes means that we want our final answers to contain prime numbers only. When we break down these numbers, in the last line, we're just going to have prime numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first number is 385. Sometimes when a number is small, you have an idea on how to break it down by remembering a fact from the multiplication tables. Well, I don't remember 385 from the multiplication tables. It's a pretty large number. With larger numbers, one way to get started breaking it down such a number is to think about dividing another number into it. We're going to use division to help us out here. What I want to do is think about a number that I know goes into 385 with no remainder. Because there's a 5 in the 1's place here, I know 5 will go into 385. So let's go ahead and do that division. 385 divided by 5. Now 5 doesn't go into 3, but 5 goes into 38 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35. When I subtract, I get 3. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 35 7 times again. 7 times 5 is 35. When I subtract, I get 0. Now, because I got a remainder of 0, I know that the number in front, the 5, times the answer to my division problem, 77, has to equal the number inside 385. 5 times 77 equals 385. And I can get started now breaking down 385 as 5 times 77. Now let's see what I have. 5 is prime. I'm just going to recopy that prime number times 77 I can break down because I know 77 is 7 times 11. Now I have 5 times 7 times 11. 5 is prime. 7 is also prime. 11 is prime. So I have my answer. 5 times 7 times 11. If you want, you can check by multiplying 5 times 7 is 35. 35 times 11, let's see what that is. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3. 1 times 5. 1 times 3 is 385. When I multiply these three numbers back together, I get back to the 385 that I started with. But now let's just write down our answer here on the side. 5 times 7 times 11 is what we get when we write 385 as a product of primes. The next number that we're going to break down is 78. But before we start working on 78, let's talk a little bit about what the first few prime numbers are. In fact, I think it's a good idea to memorize the first few prime numbers. Why don't we go ahead and list them right here? The first few primes. The very first prime number, the smallest prime number, is 2. 1 is not a prime number. 
we don't call one a prime number for certain technical reasons. Two is the first one. The next prime number is three. Now next in line is four, but four is not a prime number. We can break four down into two times two. After four comes five. Five is a prime number. After five comes six, but six is not prime. If we can break down a number like 6 into 2 times 3, we don't call it a prime number. After 6 comes 7. 7 is prime. 7 is prime because the only way to break it down into a multiplication problem is as 1 times 7 or 7 times 1. We would have to use a 1. After 7 comes 9, I'm sorry, after 7 comes 8, 8 is not prime. 8 could be 4 times 2. Then comes 9, but 9 is not prime. 9 is 3 times 3. After 9 comes 10, 2 times 5, so that's not prime. The next prime number is 11. 11 is prime. After 11 comes 12. 12 we can break down. 4 times 3 is one way. After 12 comes 13. 13 is also a prime number. The only way to break 13 down using multiplication is as 1 times 13 or 13 times 1. After 13 comes 14. 14 is not prime. 15 is not. 3 times 5 is 15. 16 could be 4 times 4 or even 8 times 2. 17. 17 is the next prime number. And that's probably good enough for us right now. In fact, those are the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven prime numbers. They're probably worth memorizing. Now let's go ahead and work on our next number here. We need to break down 78. 78, I want to break down into a multiplication problem. Now, I don't recall 78 from my multiplication tables. 9 times 8 is 72. That's close, but not good enough. So when I don't see a way to break down the number, I try dividing another number into it. Here, I see there's an 8 in the ones place. When I see an even number in the ones place, like a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, I know I have a number that's divisible by 2. So one way I could get started here is by dividing 78 by 2. Let's go ahead and do that. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. I get 1. Bring down the 8. 2 goes into 18 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract. I have 0 remainder. Because I have remainder 0, I know 2 times 39 is equal to 78. I can write this as 2 times 39. Now I want to continue here. The 2 I just recopy since it's prime times, can I break down 39? Now, I know 2 will not go into 39 because it does not have an even number, a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place. But maybe there's another number that goes into 39. Can you see how to break down 39 right now? I can see that 3 will go into 39. I'll try dividing it by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract, we get 0. Bring down the 9. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Sure enough, 3 goes in evenly. Because of the 0 here, I know 3 times 13 is 39. And we can write that here. I broke down that 39 into 3 times 13. We now have 2 times 3 times 13. 2 is prime. 3 is also prime. 
13 is prime, so that's our answer for 78. The numbers are already in order, smallest to largest, 2 times 3 times 13. Now let's take a look at our third number, 273. We want to try to break down 273 using multiplication. Well, the way we got started on the last one, on 78, won't work here. I know 2 will not go into 273 because there's a 3 in the 1's place. I want to find a different number that will go into 273. You can always just try something. You can try dividing a number in and see if it goes evenly. You could just make a guess. There is a trick, though, for telling when a number is divisible by 3. I want to check and see if 3 will go into 273. What I have to do is add up the digits of that number, 2 plus 7 plus 3. If I add them up here, I get 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I get 12. If 3 goes into this number, and it does, then it will always be true that 3 goes into the original number. This is just a funny little trick that works for 3, but it can be useful. So let's try to divide 273 by 3. We know it's going to go in. Let's see what we get. 3 doesn't go into 2. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract, I get 0. Bring down the 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract, I get 0. So what I got here to get started is 3 times 91. 3 times 91 is 273. Okay, let's see if we can go further. 3 is prime, can't do any more with that, times, now what about 91? You know, if 91 was a prime number, we'd be done. But it's not so easy to tell if a number is prime when it's as large as 91. i got to try dividing numbers into it and see if I can find a number that will go in evenly. We know 2 won't go into 91 because it's not an even number. It doesn't have a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the 1's place. Does 3 go into 91? I could try our little trick where I add up the digits. 9 plus 1 is 10. 3 doesn't go into 10, so I know there's no way 3 would go into 91. When you're trying to divide numbers in, it's a good idea to just try the prime numbers. So 2 didn't work, 3 didn't work. The next prime number is 5. 5 won't go into 91 because 5 only goes into numbers that have a 0 or 5 in the 1's place. Our next prime number is 7. Maybe 7 goes into 91. I don't know of any trick for checking 7 other than just going through the long division. So let's go ahead and divide and see what we get. We're going to take 91 and divide by 7. 7 goes into 9 once. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, I get 2. Bring down the 1. 7 goes into 21 three times. 3 times 7 is 21. Subtract, I have 0. So sure enough, I can break down 91 into 7 times 13. So I now have 3 times 7 times 13 is 273. 3 is prime, 7 is prime, and 13 is prime. So we're done. We have our answer. We've written 273 as a product of primes. I'll recopy my answer here. 3 times 7 times 13.
we only have one more number to break down here, 2,100. Let's go ahead and do that one. That's actually the largest number that we've worked with today, 2,100. The funny thing is, though, even though this is the largest number we've seen so far today, it's probably going to be the easiest one to work with. What makes this number a lot easier to work with are the two zeros on the end. We have a zero in both the ones place and the tens place. When a number has two zeros in those positions, we know it's a hundred times another number. And it's very easy to see what you multiply by 100 to get 2,100. If we just cover up those two zeros, I see 2,121. I know that 21 times 100 is 2,100. So I was able to break down this number, at least I was able to get started breaking it down without too much trouble because I was able to find that 100 so easily. Now let's keep going. I still have smooth sailing here because 21, I know from the multiplication tables, is 3 times 7. I can break down the 21. The 100, I can break down as 10 times 10. There are many ways to break down 100. That's just one way. I'm only going to use that one way here. Now let's keep breaking numbers down if we can. 3 is prime, 7 is prime, but the 10s are not, so I have more work to do. I'll recopy the 3 times the 7. Once again, let me remind you that these little lines are not necessary. They're just lines I like to write down to help me keep track of where the numbers are coming from. But you can leave the little lines off if you don't want to write them. Times, break down 10, that's 2 times 5. Times, now I have another 10 here. I have to break that down separately into another 2 times 5. I have 3 times 7 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. Those are all prime numbers, so I know I've written 2,100 as a product of primes. I'm going to rewrite my answer one more time with the numbers in order from smallest to largest. 2 times that 2 there, the 2's first, then the 3, then the 5's, and then the 7 times 7 on the end. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7 is 2,100 as a product of primes. We have quite a few primes there. Let's sum up our answer over here. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. And there, we're finally done breaking down these four numbers.